uh, when a guy like Holly moves on and goes to Dallas uh, and kind of gets that run with Dallas and Gumpy is a big stars fan. So he can kind of talk about this Hell as well yeah. too. Like he, he gets that, that cup clinching moment. And like, is that happiness in your heart for that guy in the moment? Or well, is first it of all, kinda... that goal should have been disallowed. He was in the hey, crease. Yeah. Um, <laughs> get off the ice just get off the ice get the fuck out <laughs> um no of course of course i mean come on like you know if if you know brett you have to be happy for the guy and then the then they go to detroit and win another one with detroit with chelios yeah. and all these guys you know like that was kind of an all-star team at that point yeah. you're just like okay uh, thank god for the salary cap now so we won't see that again but uh you know yeah you're happy for Holly. He's a hockey. That's all he does. How how does the guy not deserve a, uh, uh, you know, how does he not deserve a Stanley Cup? I mean, two is egregious, but whatever. <laughs> um, no, I was very very pleased for him. I'm, I'm I he's he's a good good friend and he's a good good guy, and I love him. I love him to pieces. He's just he's you know he's one of a kind. That's 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 the best you can say about Holly. There's Legend. the stories that we've yeah. all heard are all true and they're all amazing. <laughs> I I played I played with Holly very briefly uh in Arizona. Okay. He so uh the coyotes, I was on the coyotes, <clears throat> the lockout happens, we come back to camp, and in that summer, that's when Gretzky got named the coach, right? Right. So they then wanted to overnight turn this team into uh, we, we were we were a glorified american hockey league team right so they wanted to kind of change this overnight so we signed guys like mike ricci holly um you know they, they started signing like some bigger name veteran guys so holly comes in and like i grew up like i love brett hall like i mean all all you think about brett hall is his shot man the rocket like one his, timer his, his one time Unreal. rocket that he had and so <laughs> so holly comes in first of all He's the biggest beauty in the locker room I've ever seen, ever seen. So this is like at the end of his career. He he, he makes it and he he plays training camp. If you, I don't know if you check the stats. I think he only played a few games and he retired. Holly was so out of shape. We were doing bag skating at the end of practice. <laughs> and we had to go like goal line, goal line to goal line and back. And then the next group, goal line to goal line back. And we're going. I felt bad because like guys would be finishing. And Holly would only be at <laughs> mid-ice coming back. And his face was so red. I'm like, dude, he's, this doesn't look good. Like, he might just f- fall over here. And so in preseason, I'm sitting there. And I was on a line with him in preseason. It was me, Mike LeClaire, and Holly. Okay. And uh, they were asking us, like, you know, you know, what's it like to play with Holly? I'm like, hey, you know, we got a pretty good line if we could be our third line this year. We got, like, we got like 700-plus goals between the three of us. And Holly, Holly was <laughs> – Holly was responsible for about, you know, 700. I had about two. Exactly. (laughs) So, uh, so anyways, but I'm sitting here watching and I, this, this gave me what I wanted. I got some, some closure into seeing greatness. I wanted to see that one timer. And there was times where we give it to him in practice and he'd get it and he'd pass it and he'd pass it and he'd pass it. And I'm like, the fuck is he doing? Like Holly shoot this thing. And in one preseason game, he let one one timer go, hit the goalie right in the collarbone, oh, dropped them like a bag of potatoes. I'm like, I've seen it now. There you I'm go. Good. So uh, that was the last uh, hope, but an absolute beauty. Yeah, no, you're right, man. He's uh, he's a fun one, that's for sure. Yeah, there's obviously there's a million stories, and I'll tell one that I think can be shared by the the general public. But uh, this is obviously I've heard this secondhand, but Chaser tells it. He says if we're they're in L.A. Uh, this is whatever 89 88 something like that they're in la and they're losing or they're tied going in the third period like three minutes left and you know as you said holly's holly's he's got a lot of facets to his game and they're all of offense uh, but <laughs> they're going they're going whoever the coach was at the time quenville maybe i don't know throws him on the ice at the end of the thing and uh goes over the boards like, okay He's on the ice for a minute, minute and a half, two minutes. The hell, get off the ice, Brett! Get off the ice, Jesus! Get off, change, change it up. Won't come, won't come off the ice. Won't come off. Finally, gets the puck, pass me the puck, slam the stick, passing the puck, scores, snaps it, skates back. Holly, what the fuck were you doing on the ice, goddamn? And he sits on, he puts one leg up on the on the boards on the thing. He's like, it's L.A. Like we're fucking going overtime. <laughs> Wanted to hit the clubs, you know. <laughs> it's just that easy. Dude, he's, he, I, I'll, I'll tell you one, Gump. You'll like this one because it happened in in Dallas. 
And so I, I'm, this is again, secondhand, but the guy I played with was on the team in Dallas. Uh, he said that, I don't know if it was Holly's 1000th game. He had some milestone that was happening and he came to the rink and uh, the guys come to the rink. So on, on game days, when you go into pregame skate, usually the lineups on the board for the night and you at least know where, where you're playing, whatever. So Holly was playing with, third fourth line guys i don't remember which guys in, in particular but um and he was I, I i heard that he was just like what is this is this for real and he's going up to guys do you believe this do you see this and and, and, and ken hitchcock was the coach yeah. do, you, do you believe this do you, do you do what's going on do you believe this i don't know holly i don't know i don't know so i guess he was he was pissed and then um i guess in the game he he's just like he's not happy because this is like a milestone game for him and you probably shouldn't have done that in that game so there's uh apparently there's a delayed there's a del or sorry there's a penalty like a bench minor and they need someone to serve it and they tell Holly Holly go serve the penalty. He gets over the boards and the guy said it literally took him two and a half minutes to skate across the ice to the penalty. <laughs> he was skating so so sideways. He went over there and he just his attitude the whole time was whatever and he came to the bench and apparently Ken Hitchcock said something to him. And was like, Holly, you know, Ken Hitchcock has that high voice, like, Holly, yeah. you know, ah. and the boy said that he turns around and he goes, he goes to Hitch, he goes, Listen here, you fat fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. I'll change, I'll change when I want to change and how I want to change. And he said he just turned around and the boys were like, shit, <laughs> just gonna <laughs> sat in the floor. But that's Holly, man, like. He was, he's, he's, he's going to do things. March should beat his own drum. Yeah, for and sure. He, and God bless him. You know? Yeah. It's that's, that's, that's <laughs> his dad was the same way. I mean, it's like you, you talk to, you see big Bob in the old days and it's the same deal. Like it's, it's bonkers. They, and you, and you love him for it. You know, you just love him for it. It's as, as many times as he's flummoxing and in, in the consternation of it all. And they, they, there's, there's so many more times where he's just, he just, you know, he proves to you why he he can do it, do it. Not everybody can do it the way you do it. And talk about having some fuck you in his game. Yes. Oh, they had plenty a of lot, a lot, a lot of fuck you. 